Hello, everybody, and what? now welcome to the extras of Professor Layton and the Pandora's box. So now we get to see the pictures that, that were here, and so a little recap. Oh, yeah, look at when we found Flora. Oh, uh, Flora, I, I, I quote, quote. For the, uh, I decided to just skim for the pictures instead of just reading, so just for the sake of... Hi, getting... doggy. Yeah, remember when we learned about Sophia's... Uh... Yeah, when Sophia left Full Sense, she found a dropstone, which is why Dropstone was celebrating its 50th anniversary. See, it all connects. She was the founder of False Sense, and uh, not False Sense, sorry, Dropstone. And um, oh, by the way, uh, actually no, I'll say that later. What's now, the hidden door? The hidden door is those extras that we can unlock by having the other games. Basically, be Top of fun. Listen to it. Yeah. Maiden's apprentice strikes again. Oh God. <laughs> oh, oh, God. The box is empty, and we're still alive. Uh, eh, uh, it works slightly. You are a vampire. Just leave it to me. All right, so now we're gonna uh, we're gonna rewatch some bit some of the cutscenes from the game. Not all of them. We're just gonna watch clips where Luke talks. You know, for the sake of showing, uh, J Jove insists that he wants this to be in. So, I did. I insisted because he wants to appeal to the Americans as it, well as. It, it, you told me once that it would be a good idea to show off some of Lani Manella's voices so we can get their oh, reactions. Oh yeah, this is what I call. Oh yeah, that's right. I did. Yeah, I had to say that. Wait till you hear Lani Manella's voicing in the Lost Future, particularly the last clip. For now, let's just. I think that. <laughs> yeah, let's let them listen. Now, don't forget, Luke. A gentleman pays attention to his manners in every setting. So what's and the seating. story behind the Elysian box anyway? Okay, oh, Luke doesn't sound time. British now. He sounds like mm, he's trying to be British, but it's me. somehow coming off as a bit hey, German. <laughs> well, Inspector Chelmy's the name. You two found the body, did you? <laughs> I love Button's reaction. <laughs> I'm almost surprised he didn't tear off some of his skin. I like Lana Manella's flora though. Hey, it's you! Yes, I had the It's me! Because I'm talking to myself. Flora, what are you doing here? I'm sorry, it's just... Well, you see, I just didn't want to be all alone again. I get it. Well, I suppose it means we've almost reached our destination. Yes. Um, how long is this? <gasps> no, no, By the no, way... No. <laughs> <laughs> the video is six minutes long, don't worry. I won't, we won't... So uh, we're just recap... We're just basically Bye. getting a good grip of what was Lenny Manella's performance in this game. Indeed, Luke. And so far, it's actually, it's really making me appreciate Maria Darling more. Yeah, so, so, sorry, jo so, 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 sorry, Joa, but you're the only one in this particular Latin group who prefer... No, actually, you prefer Maria Darling, don't you? Yeah, I'm equally okay with them both, but yeah, I will admit Maria Darling is a bit better. Indeed, A bit. <laughs> yeah, now, maybe I'm just not a stickler for those sort of things. The actual British people, the, the, the actual British people here disagree with you, Joe, but therefore you lose. <laughs> well, well, most of us anyway. Hey, look, hey, look, I still agree that. I, I agree. But, well, most of us anyway. Hey, look, like I said, Maria Darling is still the better actor. I just, I'm not as put off by it, but then again. But remember when, when they were doing tests, pl tests for All the right, first game. Door. When they were doing tests for the first game, um, British test players, well, most of them objected right. to All Luke's right, so, voice. So, so here's some that concept that we saw I, right I, there, I, by the way. That concept that we saw right there, by the way, at the the, the first password to the oh. sequel's hidden door. Yeah, yeah. This is a password that we can use in the lost future to unlock some more extras in the hidden. That's what the hidden door is. Okay. The Herzen Museum. Um, and the real full sense. Oh. The Monterey Express. So it's now the diabolical box. Saving your game. <laughs> Alright, remember that tune we heard during the sword fight? It's the main theme. The problem is that we never get to hear it in full. So I decided yeah. to show it off while we talk about uh, our final thoughts. The only way to hear it in full is through the sound test. Here goes. Oh, no. Yep. That's not quite the theme yet, is it? No, no, no. This is the main theme of the game, not so much the main theme of the series. <sighs> That's the Professor Layton theme. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. The main theme of the series. 
Yeah. Well, so if, I, if I ever mention how brilliant Tomo Itunashira is, this man, Jesus yes. Christ. <laughs> anyway, okay, with Japanese that. people, it's hard for me to tell with, with a name whether it's a guy or a girl. It's a man. Okay. So, final thoughts then. Who's going to start? I am. Might as e? well. Might oh, as well, since sure, I'm, I'm a reporter. I, I, I'm pretty sure everybody already knows what I think of this game, but so I'll be short. Uh, I you love like the I love the story. I think it's incredibly clever the way they turn and not 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 only the love family aspects of you know everything having to do with Anton, Sophia, and Katya, but I also love what they did the way they they made the um, the element of uh, what Anton's basically you know Anton basically having to get out of his own closed off world and they did it in a in a way that the, the, even the script doesn't acknowledge it. It's all done through the vid, like for example that cutscene where we see the full sense literally going from being alive to being just a phantom town that's literally the, the big you know done without the single word you know just the music the atmosphere and Tom basically being old and just crying you know for the first time ever he's have to he has to face reality that's a great element that was ma made without a single word in the script even acknowledging it and it still came across really powerful at least for me um so yeah i love the story i love the characters it's all wonderful i love it Yes, of course, you can complain about how the whole the whole synthetic gas thing is unrealistic and weird and out there. Whatever, I don't care. It's one of you can tell why it was made. It was made as a tool for the sake of getting something better. The, the, the Professor Layton games are more concerned about being entertaining and having emotional depth rather than making perfect logical sense. Oh, uh, wait till we get to the the next game that we're going to commentate on. That actually. Yeah, what what he said. Um, really, Jova, Jova, stop it! You're cutting out. With that particular Jova, I'm talking. Thing in mind. You done? Okay. So, like I was saying, <laughs> I, um, guess I should go next. No, I I'm still doing it. The music is even better than the first game. I love the music in the game. I love I love the accord, like the the final credits theme. Like it's wonderful. I love the uh, Tomo Tenshiro's accordant accordion tracks, and also when even oh. when he does violins, like he did in this track, it was wonderful. Um, what? Oh, no. Jova, stop talking. <laughs> Not again. Jova, and... you're cutting out. Stop talking. Thank you. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah. Um, yeah, the the visuals are even better. We got a new sprite for lighting, which looks better. the The cutscenes are even better compressed than in the in the first game. I know we didn't get to see them so much on the DS on the Curious Village, but we got in in this game. Um, the voice acting is, of course, brilliant. Um, the graphics are well. I've already progressed everything. It's a fantastic game, uh, and a sequel that pretty much takes everything that worked in Curious Village and you know, keeps it and even expands upon telling a much more broader story, you know, that spans free, a total of three cities. And Jova dropped. Uh, it was a great, uh, it was a, fa it's a fantastic game. I love it to death. Jova. Oh, good. Finally, the Skype call isn't screwing with me. Anywho, this game was a marvelous masterpiece, as was stated. I really love how it feels like an Ace Attorney game with the murder plots and also about the mysteries. And like I said, one thing I really love is the improvement of the puzzles actually being more story-based. Which will become an even, be even better in Lost Future and Spectre's Call. By the time we reach Spectre's Call, it's, it's already like much better in that regard. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. And yes, um, it, it's quite adventurous. The voice acting, of course, as usual, was top-notch in... Well, what else? Um, story? Oh, yeah, I... Yeah, I really love the story. Anton is one of my favorite Professor Layton characters ever with his whole tragedy, his backstory, and the time thing. And I really liked how they did the whole counterparts of Fulsense being a real town but also a phantom town. Get it? It's all in the name. Full sense. Full sense. sense. Huh? Mm -hmm. Guys, bad. you know the, um, gush, you know the on TV tropes, there's a page about gushing about stuff. Well, yes. why should I can't we? Find, I, I can't find anything about Leighton. <sighs> whatever. Uh, whatever. Anyway, yeah. but yeah, basically, awesome game. And, well, I will say, though, unfortunately, it kind of pales in comparison to Spectre's Call and Lost Future. But we'll soon see why. All right, uh, Dwebs. Again, yeah, I can't speak for gameplay because I never played it and I suck at these kind of games. <laughs> But in terms of story that I can speak for, apart, well, aside from me um, turning all the characters into dickheads, 
<laughs> yeah, overall, I thought it was a pretty solid story. Mm -hmm. Anything else you, know, you want to talk about? The music, the graphics? Yeah, the, the music was good, although, um, although, yeah, I still have a little bit of a problem about there not being many... For, for, the, for the most part, it's mostly like one or two tracks in the, the game. The problem is, Pedro, when you talk about Leighton and any other game you love, you literally leave no stone unturned. So it's very difficult to, for us to sort of add anything to what you say. Yeah. Oh, right. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> don't, uh, don't worry, guys. Don't worry, though, guys, because the next professor... Don't worry, <laughs> don't worry, though, guys, well, because the next Professor Leighton game we'll be doing will be run by moi, so I'll be able to handle that. Sure. Okay. All right. So, Dwebs also enjoyed it. Sure. A beautiful story. Interesting mix of characters. Uh, I've been. I've actually been um, playing the Full Sense theme quite frequently hmm. ever since I started playing this game. Mm, um, indeed. Hmm? Go to YouTube and look for Pandora, the Diabolical Box Iris. Iris, or, or like, which is a credits theme. Trust me, you'll fall in love with it immediately. But <laughs> go ahead. Um, Anything else you want to say? I just... don't think so. All right, so I guess we're done. <laughs> it's a beautiful game. Pretty much. It's, it's, a, it's, a wonderful, it's a wonderful game made by such a wonderful developer. Anyway, what is it? We're gushing now. <laughs> well, See? The, the game earned its gu the gushing we're doing. Okay, sure. guys, I guess, I guess it's time that we say goodbye then. Indeed. Right. Well. See you, Inspector's Call. See you. Or the last Spectre. <laughs>